people were in any doubt about the situation, the marriage between Meghan and Harry, you can openly see on this latest tour to Colombia just how fed up now Prince Harry truly is. When you think about it at the very start, of course, it was all about pushing her forward. She was the star, look at how well she did in South Africa, all that sort of stuff. But when you become a celebrity couple rather than a royal couple, things take a turn for the worst. You see, you're not there representing as an ambassador, say a charity or something like that. You're fighting for column inches. And anybody who says differently is completely not telling the truth. You see, Harry's been used to glowing tributes all of his life. You know, everybody's written nice things about him. He was the joker, the fun prince, the sort of person that people like to be around. You know, he cheered people up. In fact, at points, as I've told you before, Prince Harry was actually polling better than the late queen. He was seen as the, the young, vibrant person. Then, of course, he met Meghan Markle. Now, behind the scenes, this is happening. Let me tell you. Morning, nice to see you today. Thank you as ever for your time. I'll have a lovely wave. You all right? We're just getting the binman coming down now. This is where you're going to hear a bit of a loud... I'm telling you this because it makes a loud noise. We'll give him a wave though. <laughs> they, always, they always wave back, I know. It's good to be friendly though, isn't it? Especially when they empty your bins and work very hard, you know what I'm saying? Always nice to be polite. Nice, nice to see you boys. <laughs> Back as ever to your royal story of the day. Now, as I say, this is actually very interesting in many respects because it's the first time that we saw Harry clearly uh, beset by anxiety. Lots of problems going on behind the scenes with him. Some people might have an inkling of sympathy for Meghan Markle because Harry is a very troubled individual. Spoken openly about the endless therapy sessions and what he does to cope and stuff like that. It's very demanding having some somebody like that with you but equally uh, when you're a narcissist then it's also quite demanding on yourself now a lot of people are saying you know they did not look connected and they certainly were not connected on this particular tour but again, here's what really kicked off behind the scenes. And this was done deliberately, I've been told, by Harry himself. You see, remember that particular celebration where children were dancing and Meghan was looking distant as ever with a rictus grin on, pretending that she was enjoying the whole event. But of course, knowing that every single camera is fixed upon her to see if there's any mask slip or anything like that behind the scenes. Harry then very nonchalantly reached out, put his arm around the chair next to the interpreter. And the interpreter looked slightly uncomfortable it has to be said but the bottom line was that you know Harry knew exactly what he was doing he looked very cool and collected in his very much linen summer outfit and what had happened until that point is nobody had really bothered about him yes Franny Marquez was very keen to meet him because after all he was a real-life royal and Meghan was just a former actress on a cable TV show but Harry knew at this point that things were not going to be registering for publicity so by doing this he did it and he got a lot of publicity everybody talked about what was he doing was he flirting all that sort of stuff now what I would say and this is truly what went on behind the scenes is that another explosive argument simply because Megan feels that this is distracting away from the brand the brand that they're selling as ever allegedly and if you remember she was always grabbing his hand in fact demanded his hand as he walked in one particular area so that they could literally do you know this sort of uh, we're still in love we're madly in love with each other thing always walking hand in hand harry as we saw in that recent cbs interview was rather reluctant to even sort of reach out in her moment of distress He's that disconnected right now. He's apparently very angry with the way that things are going. We're not quite sure if it's the press stuff that he has over here or indeed just the simple direction of everything that they've achieved so far. Coming up to 40, it's not really much to look at and he's a man that's permanently looking back, certainly not looking forward. And this really was his moment to get some attention back to him. All of these celebrities do it in the end. You've seen it with Ben and Jen. You know, they're all in love, but then once the other person gets a little bit too much publicity, the jealousy creeps in. And that is truly what's happening right now with Harry and Meghan. Difficult battling times ahead, let me tell you. Neil Sean in the very heart of London.